Hey guys, it's Jess, and you like my shirt? It says, all I need is mascara and coffee. That's right. Um, so I just wanted to give you a little update on how I'm doing after my pain specialist and all that. I had such a hectic week last week. I had two separate doctor's appointments on Monday. <clears throat> One was, um, following up with a pain specialist, and uh, then one was a hearing test, which I have to do periodically because some of the antibiotics I'm on can actually damage your hearing and cause hearing loss. But my hearing is totally fine, so no worries about that. Um, then on Wednesday, I went to the dentist for a teeth cleaning, and I had to take Cosmo to the vet. Um, Thursday, I went back to the dentist to have two little cavities filled. Um, I want to say there was even something on Friday. I don't remember now. See, it's, it's, there was so much, I don't even remember all what happened. <clears throat> but anyway, my pain specialist visit, um, this was actually a visit with the physician assistant who, like I said in my previous video, coordinates things between all the different specialties um, within the clinic and we decided that I should try gabapentin, sometimes known as Neurontin, and it is a medication that can um, calm down overactive nerves. Um, and so we're trying that to see how it goes for this lung pain. <clears throat> um, and I, I am starting off in a really low dose and very slowly increasing it as I tolerate it and then get used to it. I tend to be really sensitive to any kind of medication that affects um, the nervous system. So um, antidepressants, medications like this that are um, for nerve pain, and it's also an anticonvulsant, so definitely totally affects the brain. Um, and so far it's going good. Like I said, I'm just starting off real, real slow and increasing as I am adjusting and tolerating new dosages. Um, so um, I do think it might be helping though already. So that's a good sign. We'll see what happens as time goes on with that. Um, and then uh, I... She is also looking into which of the pain psychologists in the clinic she thinks it would be best for me to see to, um, you know, maybe uh, reevaluate my antidepressants and just, like, help me with some coping skills and coping mechanisms for um, dealing with the chronic pain because this is something that's never going to go away. Um, until I get a lung transplant, which isn't even on the radar right now. So I'm, I'm always going to have this pain to some degree or another. So, um, so the pain psychologists just really help, uh, teach people how to deal with it on a mental and emotional level on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so I think, I mean, nothing, it can't hurt me to go see him, you know, so no harm, no foul. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, and then I had to take Mr. Causey to the vet because, um, like Tuesday night, I kind of noticed that he was like really licking one of his feet a lot, but he had just come in from outside. So I thought maybe he like stepped in a little bit of mud or got something, you know, grass or something stuck between his toes. And I didn't, so at the time I didn't think too much of it, but then Wednesday, he was like just at all of his feet, like really, like if he wasn't distracted with a toy or a treat or playing or something, he was at his feet. And I was like, okay, something is totally up here. So I called the vet and they were able to get me in um, with him after my dentist appointment. Um, so we went in and, um, sure enough, he had an infection in between the toes and, like, around the pads of all four of his feeties. My poor baby, his feet were all, like, raw and sore from licking so much. And the vet thinks that he might have, like, seasonal allergies, which would make sense because 
the pollen counts around here have just been absolutely ridiculous this year. It's insane, and everybody is complaining about how terrible their allergies are this year. It's it's awful. Um, but in dogs, what happens is like um, the pollen and everything gets in between their toes and whatnot, and it starts to irritate them and makes them itchy. So then they start licking because they're itchy. And then they lick them raw and they can pick up a bacterial infection in there. So then they're all sore and infected and that's what happened with Cosmo. Um, so he is on antibiotics. Um, we did a few days of steroids, but I didn't want him to be on that very long. Um, with dogs, it makes them um, really, really thirsty. And so they drink a lot and then they have to pee a lot. And so it's like, I didn't want him, you know, like being thirsty all night long and or like having to get up and take him outside, you know, several times a night. Um, Dozer is adjusting the bed over there, so just ignore that. Um, but yeah, anyway, we only did a few days of the steroids until the inflammation and everything calmed down. But he's still on antibiotics for the infection. He's doing much better. He's leaving his feet alone now. Um, so he had a couple days off from work. He did not go um, back to the dentist with me on Thursday for my fillings because his feet hurt. And, um, you know, I also ended up giving him a little bit of Benadryl to help with the, um, the allergic reaction and you make him a little bit sleepy so he would leave his feet alone. But he's doing much better now. He's sleeping, taking a nap. Um, and yeah, so that was my crazy week last week. And um, this week all I have is an eye exam on Thursday, which I really need because I feel like I'm straining my eyes a lot, especially like if I'm trying to draw or um, anything like that. Um, and then I get a headache. So that sucks. I probably just need new glasses. Um, but, um, yeah, we will find out about that on Thursday, and it's all rainy and gross right now. Uh, good thing I'm only going to Starbucks a little later this evening to sit around and knit with some of my friends. So, yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to update you guys on the whole pain clinic situation and you about the poor cause monster um but he's doing better so i'm really happy about that i i didn't like seeing my baby hurt that was mm, he's always been so healthy never had any problems so um hopefully just by like being more conscious of it and like rinsing his feet and stuff when he comes in i'm just like kind of wiping him down and giving him more frequent baths that can stay on top of it and it won't happen again so Anyway, that is it for now. I hope you guys are having a lovely time and I will see you again later.